Would Sainz have won with Verstappen on track? Absolutely, admits Perez. The Mexican acknowledges that Red Bull did not have optimal pace over the weekend. Leclerc admits that he was aware from free practice one that pole and victory were possible. Carlos Sainz's victory in Australia has shown the improvement, not only of the driver, but also of Ferrari. But would the result have been the same if Max Verstappen's RB20 had not given up? Sergio Perez has no doubts. Absolutely. The Mexican admitted that Red Bull did not have the expected pace during the weekend and that they must improve. The Mexican could only finish fifth in Melbourne, behind both Ferrari and McLaren. A result that falls short, considering the performance of the RB20 during the first two rounds of the year, in which Red Bull scored two consecutive double points. However, the question is clear, and is to know what would have happened if Verstappen, who started from pole, had not had the problem in the brake system that took him out of the race on lap five. It is worth remembering, as a clue, that Sainz was able to overtake the Dutchman on the track in a fight for position from the second place he had achieved in qualifying. At that point, at least apparently, Verstappen had no problem, so at least it is known that at that point the performance of the SF4 was better. Perez believes in any case that the result would have held up. Absolutely, he admitted, speaking to Sky Sports. I think just as a team, we just didn't have the pace today. We didn't have the pace all weekend. We were struggling as early as Friday and we never got on top of tire management, he added. At the beginning, we struggled. We could see that Ferrari and McLaren were one step ahead of us. I think we just couldn't get the balance. And there is work to do for the next races, he confirmed. We already saw last year that on a track like this, Ferrari was much stronger than us, so we just couldn't take care of the front tires, he continued in his explanation. Words that can be completed with those of Charles Leclerc. The Monegasque has not dared to venture and respond so bluntly, but has not hesitated to recognize that the performance looked good since the beginning of the weekend, and that Sainz's victory is fair because he made a great weekend. It's extremely important because we haven't had the genuine pace for a long time to get Red Bull under control because we don't know what Max's real pace was today. But I will say that from free practice one, we knew that pole and race win were possible because we had very good tire degradation, very good pace. And that's a very encouraging sign, he reckoned. However, if you look at the first three races, two of the first three races, they had the advantage in the race. So we still have a lot of work to do, he analyzed. In any case, he believes that the performance they have had this weekend is the one they must maintain for the rest of the year. And above all, that every time there is the slightest chance of dethroning Red Bull, they will succeed. Because that's the way to continue to improve throughout the season. But that's exactly what we have to do as a team. Whenever we have the opportunity to win a race, we have to take it. And this weekend, we have done that. Carlos did it today for me, second with the fastest lap. So there are no points we've scored too many. And looking back at the first three races, there's no race where we haven't maximized the result. He weighed in considering the two alternating podiums they've scored. So we have to do it until we get the car that is consistently better than the Red Bull, especially in the race, he said in closing. Vassur admits, no one expected a Sainz victory in Australia, Ferrari formula. One boss, Fred Vassur admits that nobody expected Carlos Sainz to recover from his appendicitis operation and score a fantastic victory at the Australian Grand Prix. After missing the race in Jeddah, Sainz spent two weeks focused on his recovery before returning to the car for Friday practice at Albert Park. Although he was fit to drive, his preparations were compromised by not being able to train physically and not driving in the Ferrari simulator. Despite this, he overtook teammate Charles Leclerc in qualifying and, after overtaking a struggling Max Verstappen in the opening laps, led the Italian team's double. This winter, we agreed to push together until the last lap of the season. 
and he has done a fantastic job. He was there in Bahrain, pushing the team as well, and certainly Jeddah was a tough weekend for Carlos, a tough weekend for the team. But the recovery is huge. You have to keep in mind that two weeks ago I was in the hospital. I think even on Friday I wasn't 100% sure I could drive. And after a couple of laps, I was on the pace. And that was part of the success. Because you can't give up a lap in free practice if you want to perform. Without a doubt, it's unbelievable. If you look at where it came from, nobody expected a result like today. Vasseur downplayed the fact that Sainz had an advantage over teammate Leclerc. We're talking about more or less half a tenth, he said. And qualifying is one thing, pace is another. I think during the race, the issue is that we had to cover Oscar Piastri at the beginning. That was not ideal in terms of race time, for sure. We didn't want to give up track position, and we put him in a difficult situation. But in the last stint, he knew more about the degradation of the hard, and he was able to be very consistent, and it was a good one. The doubt that must plague Vasseur and Elkan. Were they wrong not to renew Sons? Surely the Tifosi are on their feet after Ferrari's double victory in Australia. In Maranello, more than one will have woken up with a peal of bells at an ungodly hour. For the Cavallino, a result more dreamed than expected, perhaps supported by the abandonment of Max Verstappen, something that had not happened since Amola 2022. But Carlos overtook Max on track before he had his problem and was able to open enough space to leave him out of DRS, a sign that keeping him at bay was not enough. Carlos Sainz's demonstration in Australia, a punch on the table, has surely delighted the Spanish fans. And the Tifosi, of course. But for sure, once the euphoric adrenaline rush is over, Frederic Vasseur and Elkan's brains will be buzzing with the question, did we make a mistake? At Ferrari, they promised themselves to be very happy when they announced the signing of Lewis Hamilton at the cost of a lot of money, sacrificing Carlos Sainz. And now they may wonder if they have signed a name rather than the man they needed, who they had at home, certainly much cheaper, and who wanted to continue. Lewis doesn't seem to be able to handle George Russell at Mercedes, or perhaps he lacks motivation. A seven-time world champion should not be comfortable fighting for fifth or sixth place. And Carlos has outperformed Charles Leclerc, Ferrari's theoretical leader, in the two GPs the two have contested. Horner wants Alonso at Red Bull in 2025. Red Bull would be interested in Alonso as Verstappen's teammate next season. Talks with the Spaniard are already underway, according to the German press. Will we see Fernando Alonso in Red Bull colors next season? That is the will of Christian Horner, who wants the Spaniard to partner Max Verstappen next season. And according to the German press, talks to make this happen are already underway. If the 2024 Formula One season has been the first in history in which no team has changed its lineup, for 2025 big movements are expected. Some of them are already confirmed, such as the arrival of Lewis Hamilton at Ferrari. However, there are many drivers who are coming to the end of their contracts and have not yet revealed their future. Fernando Alonso is among the drivers who are finishing their contracts. The Spaniard is facing his second year at Aston Martin in 2014 and will have to decide what he wants to do in the next 2025 years. For the moment, he has not made any statement on the matter and has not even closed the door to a possible retirement. But what would happen if Red Bull were interested in signing Max Verstappen as teammate? According to the German media F You Know Insider, Christian Horner wants Alonso to stay at Red Bull next season. The Asturian would be the main candidate for team boss to replace Sergio Perez as the Mexican ends his contract this season and his performance does not convince the energy drinks brand to sign a renewal. Thus, Horner would be the main supporter of Alonso in his arrival at Red Bull and talks for this to happen would already be underway.